Five seconds. Start finishing up what you're writing about. Make sure you properly answer the bill buster or do now. Get ready to discuss in 10 seconds. All right, that's time. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. So, we are working on our rebuttals today for our fourth essay for SCLU. So, the prompt is you're supposed to make a rebuttal or a contradiction of the following statement. Prove this wrong. We should eat healthy. Who has got something? Shreve? Good. We should not eat healthy. Everyone within this world is promised to die. Oh. It is better to enjoy what you eat and die happy rather than live long and skinny. You will die sooner or later. Might as well eat what you want. Eat what you eat. You might as well eat what you like in the meantime. You can be able to eat what you want in moderation and be perfectly fine rather than eating healthy. All right. Can we argue that point? Yes. 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 yes, absolutely. We can take a stance for that. Generally speaking, everybody tells you to eat healthy, to be clean, but in order to make your point stronger, you have to be able to see the other side. So great job, Shreve. Does anybody else have something they'd like to add? Anyone? Go ahead, Ms. Blessing. What is your rebuttal? Eating healthy. I said you should eat unhealthy because the money that people spend on healthy food is ridiculous. And people are gonna buy what they can afford. And to spend money on healthy food, you might as well just buy a gym membership, eat what you want, and just go exercise. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Right. Can we argue this point? Yes. yes. Absolutely. So everybody's seen the documentary Super Size Me, right? Yes. Okay. No. To get a dollar chicken sandwich, to get all the products, and to make it, it was over four dollars just to make the same thing, right? You can buy it at McDonald's for a dollar. So that's more economically sound, right? So we can argue that. Anyone else? Anybody else? Go ahead, Caleb. We're gonna wrap eating it up. healthy keeps you warm in the winter, makes you fat, so you'll be warm. So eating unhealthy increases I mean, your fat, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you have to spend less money on jackets. And it makes you use the bathroom a lot. And who wants to use the bathroom when you could be doing other stuff? <laughs> Fair. Be backed up. Interesting. All right. Be backed up. Good. And Brandon, you're gonna be the last one. Then we're going to move on. What do you got? I said. I said yes, but I said in the term of eating healthy that mankind defined it, you know, really what is, I asked really what is eating healthy. And so what they define, as mankind defined it, it says, you know, fruits and vegetables. Right. And so with, you know, eating unhealthy to them is as if it's um, junk food, as in chips, hot chips, and, you know, and and spices and stuff, stuff like that. Right. And so what I'm saying is, um, basically, yeah, you should eat healthy, but what's your going based on what your research, you know? Okay. So if I'm following you, we don't really know what's healthy, what's unhealthy. There used to be a diet where you're supposed to eat only things that are the color white. This is in the 1960s. It's true. Yeah, because we didn't like have a full grasp of nutrition, right? So maybe we're still making it like white, just the color white. Rice. Sure. Bread. Yep. Milk. That's unhealthy. But but it was a limited view or understanding of nutrition that caused people to think that that diet made sense, right? Now, anyway, the question is, guys, why are we talking about rebuttals? Right now. Because of our paper. Because so, of our paper. Go ahead. What oh, were you going to say, Andre? Oh, it's healthy. Right? Unhealthy. Okay, so you're balanced. Good. Lots. But the question, of course, again, guys, coming back to me, is why are we talking about rebuttals? Sharif said, because of our papers. Yes. Right? When we're working on an argumentative essay, in this case, the psychology of happiness and what it means to be happy, we need to be able to see the opposite side. So yesterday we started writing about the opposition. Today we're going to be working on a rebuttal. We're going to show that our stance is true and we're going to prove the opposition wrong. Okay? So this is what we're doing this week. Today we're working on the rebuttal of the opposition from yesterday. Tomorrow we're going to the computer lab working on paper revisions. Thursday we have our final edits. We're going to do our final touches. And then Friday, SA4 is going to be turned in to Southeastern University. All right, so everybody stack the journals, please. Ms. Clark 
can pick them up and take a look at the sheets that Travis is passing out and we're going to go over the assignment. All right? So as everything's getting picked up, right, and the journals are getting stacked, please be so kind as to pull out your work from yesterday in your folders. It should be your opposition paper. So go ahead and do that now. We're doing rebuttal. Yes, we're doing rebuttal today. Thank you, Michelle. Yes, I do. I'm going to explain. Yeah. Yes, I got you. It'd be looking like this thick. All right, so this table's doing it. Thank you very much. This table is ready to go. Also good. John Michelle. Got Michael. All right. I wish. Okay. So, real quick, just to make sure everybody's on the same page. I'm just going to sort of confirm what it is that we're doing. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, all right? So a rebuttal is a refutation or a contradiction. It is a nice and academic way of saying, I am right and you are wrong, right? So when it comes to our prompts, this is where in your essay, you can really show that you know what you're talking about. You can use academic sources to prove your point, and this is where you're going to prove the opposition wrong, right? Does everybody understand what we're doing? Okay. So yesterday, you guys worked on your opposition. Today, with that sheet in front of you, I want you to write down a refutation of your opposition. Okay? After that, Huh? You said refutation? Refutation. You're refuting it. So you're neutralizing the argument against your point. Right? After that, we're going to perform some peer edits, and then we're going to start working on final revisions for SA4. Does everybody know what we're doing? Does anybody have any questions? So work on your rebuttal, basically? Yep, working on a rebuttal. Is the rebuttal kind of like a stance? So you, that's a good question. So you guys have already made a stance in your papers, right? Um, what was your prompt? Which one did you choose? Um, the first. That other emotions are just as important as mm -hmm. happiness? So an opposition would be where you would say that some people believe that happiness is in fact more important. Right? That's your opposition. And you want to show that you're thoroughly researched that argument. So you can use citations. You can use other people's arguments to, to show the opposition. And then in your refutation or your rebuttal, you're saying that those people are actually wrong. And you and you explain why. Does that make sense? Oh damn, I did that wrong then. And then use Master. those use their points against them. Yes. Use their points against them. What did you do wrong? So what you just explained I did in my stance. Right. So that's okay. If you made a stance that shows, you know, this is the reason why I think that uh, you know happiness is not as important as other emotions or other emotions are just as important. After that, you just make an opposition, which would be some people, specifically positive psychologists, like the article that we read in Time, believe that happiness is in fact more important than others. And then you explain what their thoughts are. And then underneath that, you say that that is actually incorrect because in order to live a more full and happy and rich life, we must feel things like happiness and sadness and despair and love and hate because that's what it means to be a well-rounded person. So basically my explanation I had in my stance is to move it down with my rebuttal. Yeah. My in-depth. Yeah, if it's more in-depth, put it down to rebuttal. Okay. Right? Just prove the opposition wrong. That's what I really want to see today. Okay. Yes, Zadaria? All right. In my opposition, I used one quote and then so in my rebuttal, am I still going off that same quote? Because okay. I used another one. That's a really good question. You can say, as previously stated, you can reference the quote again, but you don't have to quote it twice, right? You see what I mean? Yes. You can say, as previously yes. stated by, who was it that wrote it? Uh, I, I don't remember the name. I put the writers of the pursuit of happiness. The writer of the pursuit of happiness, as previously stated, and then you can explain what it was, and then you explain why that stance is wrong. Okay. In your rebuttal. But can I use another quote? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? All right. Let's get to work. Mr. Yeah. 
Well, you don't want to attack them personally. You attack the ideas of the person, right? <laughs> That's an argument. Attack the credibility of their ideas. There you go. That makes sense. All right. So, time is on. Let's get to writing. I'm recording him for his thing. His thing. Go ahead. Um, well, actually, no, you can't. I'm sorry, Brennan. Good. This group's doing great. You guys know what you're doing? Awesome. I'm going to do this. So I don't fall on it. I feel like falling. It's just because of the other thing. I can't leave this yet. We might have a uh, drum. So. Sorry. Good. What is it? You get on Moodle? That's fine. Good. You still answer the questions and you still were engaged in class. You have to apologize for anything, but you do need to do the work. Okay. Yes. Okay, so since you had an injury, right, just send me a paper. We try to do it by tomorrow so I can edit it. You know, just go home, give me what you got, because I've got revisions that I'm going to be giving to everybody. Tomorrow for computer lab, and I want you to have some of the Now, to be fair, there are some people that didn't have that much content, but try to hit that 650 word mark. Okay. So, wait, what's the limit for the whole essay? The whole essay is 950 words. Uh, that's on. Cool. I'm glad you're back. I'm sorry about that. You know what we're doing? You good? Uh, Okay. Do you guys remember who edited Michael's paper? Where's that? Okay. We never did question. We did not, but I printed it out and I sent you my. Oh yeah, I didn't open it yet. Yeah. <laughs> the social media. 
Yeah, it could so it would be is social media a big part of your life? Uh, movie is. But yeah, the question's fun. It's just really stressful. This show kind of shows like how trying to use this data is inherently flawed, right? Like how can you prove that people are saying yes and they mean it, right? You know what I mean? So you have to take that kind of pull with a grain of salt. Does that make sense? Because like, okay, for example, that's on Twitter, right? And so they're all saying that it's not a big part of their lives, but they took the time to answer a poll on Twitter, right? So it's it's kind of tough. It's the same idea as like whatever they're trying to say, like can you quantify happiness, right? It's like, I can say that I'm happy, but that's not actually me that I'm happy. And Right. But as a rebuttal, you can also say this is a great way to get a like as many people involved as possible. So if you can't just walk around, like how many people have answered, you know? Okay. So it took very little time to get that data, right? Whereas to go from person to person to person to person, it takes long to Right now, before, right? Mm, that's true. You would have more people. Yeah. So basically, since you were an absent, what I want you to focus on is your opposition, right? I want you to put the best argument possible against your own stance, right? Because if you can take the best argument possible and then refute it in your rebuttal, then it makes your paper super strong. So that's what you should work on. Right? Um, yeah. I don't know what I'm getting. 13 minutes. Position. That's where you have people who disagree with you. That's when you bring their points forward. And then the rebuttal underneath that is where you prove them wrong. You got it? Now, with the opposition, you want to have the best points against your stance possible. Because if you can refute their best argument, then your paper is very strong. Does that make sense? What happened to your finger? 
So, just to reiterate, guys, you should have worked on your rebuttals. You should have performed peer edits. You have answered these two questions. What worked? What made the rebuttal effective? Most importantly, you talked about what part of the opposition's argument was not addressed. That way, when we go to the computer lab tomorrow, when you're working on revisions to be submitted to SCLU, you can use these notes, use these peer edits to fix your papers and get a higher grade. And then finally, you're going to talk about what can be done to strengthen this rebuttal. So you guys are going to take your, your work, place it in your folders, please, and get ready to leave. We have a few more minutes before the bell. And you're going to take this with you home, look it over, look through your papers, and then revise and edit them, and then get ready to submit them on Friday. Okay? Computer to lab tomorrow. Take your folders with you. I hope you guys have a great day. Any questions? No, no sir. Perfect. Good job, guys. Thank you very much. Let's get ready to go.